here it is. I'm gonna do the unboxing. This is the new generator we bought. instructions looks like uh, some tools and the remote control looks like it's packaged really well comes with a small funnel cool Comes with a quart of oil. Or actually, looks like less than a quart. My guess is this is the exact amount of oil the engine holds. Cool, got the remote control. So I checked, the weight of this is 100 pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it off of the All right, looks like uh, looks like a nice, pretty straightforward uh, generator. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to hook up the battery, add oil, add gas, and then should be ready to fire this up. But yeah, look at that. Very compact size for how big of a generator it is. Got a nice handle for um, moving it around. It's got a decent set of wheels on it. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it already. Okay, look, here's where you add and check the oil. And it looks like this is where you also drain the oil. Awesome, look at that. No more having to tip these things on their side. Makes changing the oil really easy awesome and then I'm sure this is probably where the battery is let's see if I can turn this without a screwdriver just with my fingernail it's not exactly the easy way to do it yep there's the battery Okay, so the first thing was to remove the four shipping supports, which I have done. Okay, real standard, small dipstick. It's got oil on it already, which means that they added oil at the factory, which I already knew. They test run the engines. Okay, I'm half full and I've added a little bit more than three quarters of this quart, or it's not a quart. I'm just not sure if this is, if this bottle is the exact amount, it's, it's a half a liter. So I'm making sure not to overfill it. Okay, we're full, got just a little bit left in the bottle. I'm glad I checked, that way I didn't get it over full. Okay, I had to connect the battery. Now the battery's connected. Oil is added. I think we're just about there. 
Just gotta get some gas. Okay, it's got its own fuel gauge, and it says we're almost full. I didn't quite fill it all the way full. It holds 2.3 gallons of gas. And I think I probably just put in about 2.2. So it's, you know, a little bit short, not much. Let's see, I've got some plastic to take off of here. Like it's just some kind of protective tape. That's good. All right, I think we are ready to fire this thing up. Turn it to run, which it's on. Turn the battery switch on. Looks like it's showing juice. Okay, I'm gonna, all right, the choke is on. There it is. Turning the choke off. Well, there it is, look at that. It's on eco mode right now. It's making power. Wow, that is quiet. That is really quiet. That is amazing. All right, I've got the RV plugged in and the RV is charging right now. And this is all it's revved up. My other generator would have been revved up more than halfway. This thing sounds like it's still at a complete idle. In fact, let's turn off the eco mode and see how loud it gets. Wow, that's it. That is it. That's amazing. on it. 